Before you do another crunch sit up or variation thereof, I wanna show you three movements that we've used to build cores more solid than granite for many, many people. Hey, Lee Weiland here with Pacific Rim Athletics and welcome to training. Now, if you don't implement what I'm gonna show you, then you may end up never gaining abs, stacked on abs, or worse, frustrated, stuck, or injured. But if you do, you're gonna advance to levels only tread by legends. Plus, these are fantastic for alleviating back pain via strength gain. Seriously though, these all build on each other and obviously I'll save the best for last, so stay until the end. And remember, don't mistake this or any other free videos for coaching and proper training with safety protocols, insurance, and progressions. When I started working on this video, I thought, when's the last time I did crunches or had any of my students do crunches? I can't think of one instance. Now, the physical therapist coaches on staff may have assigned a few here or there, but those would be for rare occasions for specific reasons, but they're never our go-to movements. They will not give you a six pack because everyone already has a six pack, including you. Revealing it is another matter, which has to do more with nutrition and metabolism. And sure, they'll build some strength because they're using muscle proactively towards hypertrophy, but they're just not going to produce the results that you really want which is a powerful physique capable of athletic performance and injury prevention, especially for your spine, or a six pack if that is of interest to you. So let's move beyond the cookie cutter recipes and eight minute ab routines, even if they have a million views, and really dial in some focused training. And subscribe so you don't miss out on the training all of our top students receive. And the first movement, sublimely simple, Never would you imagine this in a million years, but practiced by superheroes and legends from time immemorial. In fact, this position is the gateway to every single other athletic movement and feat of strength and skill, including throwing a knockout punch to tumbling. It's a static position and one you probably, no, definitely will not enjoy, but it is truly the first basic toward building maximal strength for your core. It's called the hollow position. I've talked about this in other places, but I will provide even more detail here because again, it's the gateway to so much more. The cheat code to the next level of strength. Think about a back handspring as an example. There's only two shapes, hollow and arch. You start in a hollow and end in a hollow. You even sleep in a hollow shape or in an arch shape, it's everywhere. Let's look at an athletic example. If your core crumples during a round off or a back handspring, over 1,000 pounds of force ricochets up through your spine, depleting energy for the skill or causing injury. The hollow position is formed by applying the strongest shape in geometry and construction, the arch, just through your core, including your transversus abdominis, which wraps all the way around to your spine. To create it through your body, engage your core in such a way that your lower back sinks into the floor and everything else floats up off the ground. Often, people cannot hold this shape, so it's appropriate to begin with bent legs in a tuck position or straddled legs. And to train the strength will require brutal, long-suffering static holds. That's it, nothing magical, except that they are magical. Holding five sets of 60 is a common protocol or doing rocks in sets of 50 or 100. Once you get to that point, you'll be crushing it and probably moving up in your lifts, your skills, and your overall health. Now on to the next movement, and this builds upon the former. Now that we have an understanding of the hollow and arch shapes, which really are just both arches, we can move into a comprehensive understanding of building the core in its totality. In the dragon flag, we take the arch position and apply it to the posterior chain. Here we see the hollow take shape through the back, this time as we lower the body to the ground. Remember the transversus abdominis? This is engaged along with the latissimus dorsi and pulls the core into a shape reflecting the hollow hold in mirror image. Not every position between the hollow hold and the dragon flag can be listed here, but we shall nevertheless venture onward to demonstrate the overall development of the core on a macro level. On the other hand, if you really can build to 100 hollow rocks or five sets of 60 seconds static, you should ideally be able to start work on dragon flags. Either way, between every progression, no matter how detailed and scrupulous we can be, there will be gaps because every person is unique and the art of coaching fills that gap. But we continue on, step by step until we have a nice dragon flag obtained. And then we allow the dragon to fly in a front lever, which can be done in various positions as well like tuck, straddle, and straight. And herein lies absolute mastery of the core. Well, at least on a static, non-twisting level. 
Then there's hip hinging and twisting, which perhaps we'll cover in a subsequent video. So make sure to subscribe and click any of the links below to start training. And I'll see you in the next video.